back everybody, I'm Brad. I'm Steve. So today we're having a side-by-side -side yes. comparison of Steve's Mosaic and uh, Mayor Sauter. That's mine. <laughs> yep. And my Mosaic and Roar 2 Row. Now the weird part is if you've been watching all these, we did mine first. Mm -hmm. Then we did the review, so 15, who knows how long we talk, um, 15 minutes still has a head. Yes, <laughs> yours has a lot of head. And It's good though, right? Yeah, but the other ones, the uh, Roar 2 Row with anything else, I think we said, Where, where's the head? The, there, there, yeah. There's no head. So is the mosaic giving it head? Maybe it just needs to age a little longer than a couple weeks, and it just... Because didn't this one age for a month? Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, 331. Okay, and the last one only had like a couple weeks on it, right? Yeah, How? but yours has been... Almost three weeks. Yeah. So, I mean, it's kind of in between. But we're going to be able to tell because we're doing a lot of videos, obviously, in one day. Then I'll spread them out. But we'll have to remember this because we're going to do our citra ones. Yep. And that'll be a month later. Yes. Technically. And then these will be will come a <coughs> yeah. month later too. Yep. So we've got some Maybe I might have to <laughs> when you're gone <laughs> take yours. <laughs> so um yeah, so Steve's is on the left, mine is on the right. Mine was 7.79 7, 7. 7.67%. Mine came in at 5.4. Yeah. So, looking at them, I would say yours is a touch hazier, even though mine's filled with crap. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's hard to tell. It's, because, and your bubbles are just going nuts, man. Like. <laughs> yeah, and that was out of a bottle, so it did have two carbonation tablets in there. Yeah. Okay, let's see if we can smell. So roar and mosaic or uh, mosaic mo roar, roar. Yeah, probably wouldn't you? Because mine's probably lighter yeah, than. Let's do yours first. Okay. I I get a faint. What is that? Is that like a? I almost want to say a touch of sour citrus. Yes, I, it's something. very. It's faint. It's faint though. I mean, it doesn't smell bad, but it doesn't smell anything strong. like a New England IPA because no. of the color. Should it shouldn't even be a New England IPA? Wheat, yeah, orange. I know it. <laughs> it's like an Oberon. It's so crazy. Hmm. I would I would give the smell to yours just because. It's a little stronger. Even though I, I don't drink Oberon. I have it on Oberon Day. I'll have one, but then I go to the Mango Habanero Oberon. But, yeah, it's... Uh, I can't describe it. It's it's there, but I know what it's made out of, and it shouldn't smell like that. <laughs> I know. That's <laughs> why so I'm kind of like, hmm. Okay, taste. Thicker, more, a little more. I can tell it has a little more IBU. Not even yeah, IBU. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It should have say. the same IBU, but it has, it's a little more tart. Yeah, like tart hot, hot. bitterness. Yeah. Like a bigger bite. Mm-hmm. And a little thicker. Yeah. <laughs> this, like, water. Not as much. Though. I would say this is medium body. Now that we're tasting them side by side, this is heavy. Mm -hmm. Which is weird because mine's a higher ABV, so it should have ate through most of that sugar. Yeah, but because of that alcohol, there might be that feeling of yeah. heavier. Yeah. But yeah, it's... It's not 100% the same. Mm -mm. I would say... This is M43. This is Boss Tweed, but it isn't because I think I would rather drink yours than mine. Where, obviously, in our beer bracket, we would have taken Boss Tweed all day. Yeah. But it's almost like that, like, 
this drinks better, this is thicker, maybe gives you a little bit more tart bitterness, like a double New England should do it. And this one gives you more orangey kind yeah, of Yeah, more flavor. flavor. Yeah. Like, it, if it was winter, probably this mm -hmm. one. If it's summer, probably this, this all one. day. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, they're oh. both good beers. They're just so drastically different. <laughs> and and the only change is the malt. So, well, and I think you have more boil off than I do, so. I, I don't know. This is weird. <laughs> But that just goes to show you that, you know, there's a lot you can learn by doing small batches and right. experiments because who would have thought by changing the malt and really nothing much else, like maybe the fact that I don't boil off faster, but you really have two different beers. Like if you set these down in front of somebody, they, they categorize them differently. Well, like right. We almost use the same recipe. Right. I mean, we did use the same recipe, just the malt was different. Yeah. I'm trying to think. <laughs> it's not working very well. Because I'm thinking, I, I'm, I'm trying to think how could I get closer to yours? With the two row? Or yeah, with... yeah the, the two row. And I, I'm thinking instead of cutting back. You'd add more. I would boil less. Okay. Yeah. You know, because you're still using two pounds, 12 ounces of grain. So that's what I'm using. Mm -hmm. So instead of a 60 minute boil, what's a 50 minute boil do? Right. Well, I'm wondering too, because like I thought, so with Tiro, I know that that beer is usually ferment drier, crisper than say a Marisader. And that's why I always, always like Marisader because it has a little more biscuity, yeah. bready flavor to it. Yeah. But what I don't understand is the difference that it did to the hops right like i don't understand why the hop flavor doesn't shine the the hop flavor should be the same yes that's where i'm going <laughs> like in mine because the boil times are the same mm -hmm. the the dry you know hops the same yep. so uh, it's just interesting to see the the correlation between you know you can literally take the same hop quantity and this grain and this same hop quantity right. and different grain and get two different beers. Right. Like drastically different beers. But I th I wonder <clears throat> if we should almost change. Like you do two row. And I do. And, you and I do Maris Otter. We could do that. <clears throat> and just see. see what the difference is. Yeah. If, if you can get the orangey. Right. Oberon flavor and I right. can get the. You know, thicker, thicker, more, a little bitter, more hot, bitter. Yeah. I mean, that head. Mm -hmm. And how is that head still there? <laughs> huh. It's good it, beers. Yeah, but... I would say, I would agree with Steve. If you're, if it's into winter, I would drink this. If it's getting to summer or in summer, this is a lighter, almost more refreshing beer mm -hmm. that's 5.6%. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it's uh, definitely, I would say, a crowd pleaser, right? Yeah. Yours yours might take a little more. You if better, you like IPAs, you yeah, probably like You this. have to be into bitter, Yeah, I think. Where this, I think Jessica would like this. <clears throat> the neighbor would probably like this because it's more of that orange flavor. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I mean... <laughs> Kind of blowing my mind. A little bit. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't. Now I, I want to go really make don't. like fifteen like, more. I know. Batches. I'm just like I need to quit my job. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and brew all day yeah. and just figure this out because it brew. doesn't make sense. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna brew 1.25 gallon batches for the rest Every of my day. life. <laughs> yeah, get those fermenters on the way. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, let us know if you guys have done anything like this. Um, and I think the cool part is we're not doing it at the same place. No. You know, you're doing what you can do. I'm doing what I can do. That's why I don't see why breweries don't put out more recipes. Mm -hmm. We can't hit them. No. No. It, you <clears throat> have to have the perfect conditions, yeah. the perfect yeast. I mean. And I think what we're going to do on one of these is 
we're going to brew the same the same malt, is. same hops, and just see what the difference is. Because, yeah, both years, I think, have been on the lighter side. But like you said, your boil's not as vigorous. So you're going to have more residual sugar, which you don't get in here. But it could be that that's what's bringing out those hot flavors. Could be, yeah. Where I'm drying it out a little bit more and killing all the sugar in there yeah well and and another thing too like our water difference we haven't even started talking mm. about changing water and, i don't even want to go there. does is the the gypsum right mm. and what i do is i just go to the store and buy some spring water in gallon jugs because yep. i have well water i have ro water and i just i could doctor up the ro water but it, my tank's only like a gallon yeah. so it takes forever to like repop right so yeah but Two good beers, if you're getting into home brewing or if you're into it, it would be it would be fun to see what other people do if they brewed the same thing. Yeah. Because it's not like it takes long. <laughs> A little bit of cleaning. Yeah. Yeah, but you only Clean have more than pot. anything. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. But one, well, we'll talk about it on the next video. You guys have to stay tuned. <laughs> So if you like this video, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you know when new videos are coming out. And until next time, I'm Brad. I'm Steve. Happy brewing. See you next time.